Chiang Mai, day seven. Just woke up, did my gym. Ama and Agar has been testing uh, co-working space, apparently it didn't go well. So we are going to a coffee place. It says it's coffee, so I'm waiting for my Uber on this one. I'm not really fancy working 20 minutes after my exercise this morning. I got other things to do. I do work, despite the daily showing only the fun side. And we are here. <laughs> hello, hello. How are we doing? There's a bunch of those annotation things. <laughs> Look, everyone's got a Mac. Mac, 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 Mac. No, not everyone. This side doesn't have Mac. Only the Asian people don't have Macs. Oh, the Asian people don't have Macs. Let, let's try to verify the theory. I think you're right, but... <laughs> wow, that was cool. I probably had the most productive morning ever in Chiang Mai so far. This guy is an absolute genius when it comes to marketing. I didn't notice it for a long time even after founding Zenmade, but now like it really, like really stands out. You know, Zenmade's a marketing company more than anything else. In that coffee shop, we were like discussing the impact that a founder background has on the company as a whole. Yeah. It's like tremendous. Like for example, I come from a product uh, development background, so everything we do is like we're trying to win by product superiority yeah. but that leaves some kind of weaknesses which is like we don't have any sales outbound I know marketing is pretty weak at the moment yeah. and he comes from a marketing background so his marketing is like absolutely spot on but the product actually needs to sort of like improve and then step yes. up from the technical standpoint but yeah that's definitely the difference between you know product founder and marketing founder you know yeah so you got like what technical founders marketing founders sales founders I think yeah. that's the three main one, right? Those are probably the three, the three main ones, yeah. If I take my market, or my my market as an example, yeah. then we got, obviously, I'm a tech founder, so our product is like superior, technically speaking. Yes. Then we got GrowthBot, for example, which is like a sales-driven company where they have like really strong outbound sales team, yes. like going on phone, you know, calling. And then we got like Tadap that is really good at marketing. I think we see that a lot in our mastermind. Um, that, that's true. Yeah, Jeremy like, and I are in a five-person mastermind that we uh, meet up with you know like every week and I, I really noticed it there because I think I'm the only really like marketing founder in that group right everyone else is more product I'm technical Chad is technical Brad is technical but yeah. you are marketing oh, and Dave, David, Dave, Dave and David is business yet. where are we gonna eat now we are going to the salad concept is that the thing that Aga keeps on trying to avoid yes it is which is why we're going now because Aga is not with us for lunch today are you uh, coming to the uh, the LinkedIn meetup yeah, How for sure. Okay. That's later tonight, guys. All right, so that's your salad concept. Oh. So how does that work here? They'll bring over a menu in a sec. I'm like building my own salad, basically. Got it. This is a salad concept where you build your own salad. I don't even like salad, but I love this place. I personally get spinach because I want to be strong like Popeye. And I get some cheese. I bumped into the CMO of Thrive Themes. I was essentially like, oh, you know, I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, I feel like we're stuck in like the same boat of like, you know, essentially we're both like marketing, you know, inferior products. And that didn't go over as well as planned. <laughs> I was trying to compliment her marketing ability and she took it as like, you know, an insult to her product, which in hindsight makes perfect sense. My lump of spinach on my greens. You did take everything on the menu, really, honestly. Yeah. Like at five baht, makes sense. Do you still have money after buying your Mac? After buying the <laughs> Mac? I put it on a credit card, so... I'll oh, so next back. month you're cool. <laughs> yeah, we're going to some uh, LinkedIn marketing talk with some some hack. God only knows what they're gonna talk about or teach us. Sounds dodgy and fishy. <laughs> gonna have to walk fast. We've been a bit late. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's close. Whoa, whoa. Oh shit! <laughs> Here we go, back again. 
Oh wow, we got people mm. here. Look. It's already more more successful than the Bitcoin one. Hey guys. Hey. I'm good. I'm good. Hey. Nice. Hey, hey, I'm Grant. Hey, Omar. Hey, Jeremy. Tim. Hey, Wes. Probably one of the most relevant meetups to all the different random yeah. things. Oh man, the Bitcoin one. That was a joke. Everyone's broke. No one showed up. That was that was him on video. <laughs> Are you guys getting food? It's absolutely so the most important oh, thing, man. Oh, yeah. Consider everyone. Well, Facilitate thanks for the formal our, yeah. Chiang Mai LinkedIn meetup. Yeah, my name is Bunty. I'm a business owner. I have a SaaS business. I'm Grant, and obviously, you know, Tim. We're in business together. Nice. We have a PPC agency. Yeah. We're getting kicked out. Yes, we are getting fully kicked out. Grant, Bunty, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Nice meeting you. See you, guys. Bye. Remember to buy a quick mail. <laughs> well, that was a great group here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved it. The foundation's probably the best community of entrepreneurs, I think because of the mindset and all of that jazz that everyone in the foundation is very understanding of everyone being on the journey and blah blah blah. The DC tends to have um, like the highest level entrepreneurs or like the content on there that's specifically shared is just the highest level, goes into the most detail. Uh, you tend to be able to take a lot of posts off the DC forum and actually apply them to your business pretty much immediately, which is really cool. Back in the town! I had just a sandwich, where do we go for dinner now? Subway. I mean, where do we really go for dinner? <laughs> so, Beast Burger it is? Alright, I wasn't yes. thinking Beast Burger, but you... you that, is that growing on you right you, now? You had me at Beast Burger. <laughs> um, today, on No Reservations Chiang Mai, we're going to walk through your prototypical Thai market. Everything that you see here, you could find anywhere in Thailand for the exact same price. If anything, it's the distribution networks that are actually impressive here. All right, so we are back at Beast Burger. We know Aga doesn't want it, so that's a good opportunity for us to get a second second round of Beast Burger. Quick book recommendation. The, uh, the Fish That Ate the Whale, I think it's by Rich Cohen. The Rise of America's Banana King. You didn't need to do that for the day. <laughs> Please tell me you got that on camera. I did. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Nothing happened, guys. Nothing <laughs> happened. Well, I'll come back for that tomorrow. Tomorrow it's Wednesday, and it's not Wednesday yet, so I'll go with milk for now. That sounds like water, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay.